How's it going guys? This is Hightower and Poltergeist for Dire Wolf Airsoft. And today we're going to talk about fogging and fogging issues. Alright, so before we talk about fogging and, and ways to solve it, we're going to talk about what actually causes fogging. Me, I always thought, you know, we're out of shape, we're running around outside indoors, and that's what causes fogging. In the real world, uh, what it is, is it's an issue with temperature exchanges. So as you're playing airsoft, your body gets hot. And you know this, you start sweating, you start, you, you feel the temperature increase. Your goggles are colder than the air coming off your body. So the moisture in the air that your body's producing causes condensation on the goggle. So while you're running around, inside your goggles, all that air is getting hot, and it's leaving the moisture, and that's causing the fogging. What if my goggles are just set at, like, <clears throat> body temperature? We, we walk around during the day, keep the goggles on us. I'm still noticing a little bit of fogging when I start to play, though. You definitely, it happens regardless. I mean, as your temperature builds up, you're a human being at 98 degrees, and unless you're playing at 98 degrees or hotter, mm -hmm. your goggles are going to fog over time. Uh, one way to cure them is actually if you're in direct sunlight, looking up, eventually it will heat the lens enough to remove the fog. But again, that's a long-term solution, and don't stare at the sun. And we're playing and running around. If we're looking up, we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing and actually playing airsoft. So some things you don't want to do, or you're going to say something else? Uh, I was just going to say, uh, another way which you'll, you've seen with uh, goggles starting to have ports for cooling in the front, is if you keep moving, that air movement will cool the air inside your goggles and uh, you'll actually alleviate the fog. It's a real simple way. Most goggles are built in with these little vent ports along the top uh, and that's designed to let that air flow through so that you don't get that heat buildup. Uh, the boogie regulators have got it in the front where they have that, those little dots. You yep. slide it open and as you're moving forward the air can come in and refresh. It's actually they were designed for skydivers so as they're going down, yeah. <clears throat> air will go in. All right, so we're going to start off with things you don't want to do. First and foremost, when you're playing an airsoft game, you don't want to take your eye pro off. So, for instance, let's say I'm playing around with, with my goggles here, and I'm running, all of a sudden, I need to shoot someone, yet I can't see them. You don't want to take it off, grab a dead rag or your shirt, really quick, you know, wipe, put it back on. While that's a, a quick and immediate way to relieve some, some fogging, you just remove the, a safety feature off of your body and you can get hit in the eye. A couple of other ways that are more accepted but still you should never break the full seal around your eyes is if you're wearing a pair of goggles and for the sake of not putting them on and just sneak sneak your finger in from the side you can get a little bit of a wipe action going. Yeah but now a guy comes in as you're doing that. that. And your hand is off your gun. Yep. Another <clears throat> big issue. Uh, and the last thing that a lot of fields will say is Go find a corner and face a corner and then do a little bit of the flop, flop, flop to get some air in yep. there. Uh, wipe it down with your eye or lay down in the field so you're face down against the dirt and do that same deal. That's the safest way for you to actually, if you need to clear your goggles, to clear it on the field. I've seen guys for indoor games because I, I, I tend to see a lot more fogging indoor. Indoor, at least up here in the Northeast, we play you know, indoor when it's cold outside. So you're really going into an area or an arena where it's cold. You're warm like he said, so you're warming up. Some guys will stack up on a door, and before I tap you to go in, I'll sit there and I'll kind of wipe my, or people will wipe their, uh, their goggles. Now you're good to go in. An issue, too, is, you know, a lot of what we find is the second you get hit, everyone does this. They turn, they look to where they're getting hit from. So if I'm sitting there wiping, it's just human instinct. You're wiping, you may not put one and two together really quick before you call that hit, hit, hit. And they're lighting you up as you're getting hit. And you're looking and your seal's broken on your goggles oh. and that's when accidents happen. Yep. So those are definitely some of the things you, you don't want to do when... The most common solution to fogging is to take care of it ahead of time. Uh, whether you use any of the varieties we're going to discuss, these are all what you're going to do before you enter the field. Mm -hmm. uh, first up, the lowest end uh, in terms of cost is going to be actually dish soap. If you take dish soap, a little bit of water, Mix it up, and before your game, apply it to the inside, and you can even apply it to the outside of your goggle. Yeah, because with the dish soap, it when it dries, it's still clear enough for you to see through. And what it does is it provides a, a layer, almost like think of a dull pane window. There's a layer there that that the um, the moisture won't cling to. Yeah, it won't penetrate to. Um, so. The other thing about the soap is it, um, if you've ever done the penny experiment in school where you stack water on a penny, soap destroys water surface tension, so it's harder for the bubbles to even form on your, your goggles. I guess the only plus to this is if you have to clean your stuff afterwards, you've already got some soap on it, 
run some water, make sure you clean off really good. Because if you do go to wiping, you don't wipe correctly when you clean, you're going to actually create not a fog due to body temperature, but a fog due to some, some film and buildup on that. The other downside to the soap is uh, eventually you will get hit in the goggles and you do get flecks of soap in your eye. Not that it's the end of the world, but as Saint can attest, it does sting. Yeah, it hurts. And I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it focuses enough, but you can see I've got some, uh, some hit marks right on my eye pro. You know, more reason to keep your eye pro on your face. Exactly. Another um, option you guys can use that's, that's kind of a pregame pre -game option is you can go with things like Cat Scrap or Oakley or who makes this one? JT. They've all got these um, pregame sprays. You know, before you play, you spray a few on, you wipe it off, and then you're, you're good to Rag, go. paper towel. Uh, and everybody makes that. I mean, Oakley makes it, JT makes any of the paintball companies all have their own spin-off. Uh, a lot of the airsoft companies, you can find it on Evike, Airsoft GI, you name it. Someone's got a spray that you can use. And what's nice to go with the sprays, too, is Oakley also makes, it's not a spray, but it's a, it's almost like a clear dropper. Almost how you treat the, the soap, you put a few drops on, you wipe it with, you know, microfiber cloth. Some people use their finger. I don't suggest your fingers because you've got oils and maybe some dirt on your, on your hand as well. Speaking of Oakley, Oakley also makes, uh, they have this little guy. Uh, you want to take over high time? I've never yeah, actually yeah. used this guy. So this thing's pretty nice. It's small enough to keep maybe on your pack and your plate carrier in your bag, but it is, it's, it's a marker. So instead of actually using, spraying it, finding a cloth to use it, it's two things. You've got this marker that when you depress it, it you know, you saw the drip, but it puts out the anti-fog, and in the back it comes with its own microfiber cloth. So this is nice. I keep this on, you know, in my gear, on my purse, and I used to just throw it in the back and... I'll tell my buddy before we go out there, hey, we're in a safe zone, there's no shooting coming in or out, let me hit my, um, my goggles with a few spots of this. Uh, speaking of a microfiber cloth, uh, they do make anti-fog wipes, which uh, you can use Rain-X, it's going to have a bit of a strong odor, but uh, you're going to be able to pick these up. A couple of companies make them and they're designed for goggles. If you pick up those that are designed for goggles, you won't have that odor. Um, but it's just like any other Rain-X product you use on your car that it just prevents the fogging and the ability for the moisture to build up on the lens itself. And we're not branding here. The, the thing is, you know, Rain-X, you use it on car windows, you use it everywhere. We grab Rain-X because it's not only cheap, but it's everywhere. It's not like Oakley's version, which may be a little bit more pricey than the $2 Rain-X thing you pick up at an auto zone or a car dealership. All right, so continue with some more in-game... Um, Solutions for once you've already fogged. Well, yeah, once the fogging happens. This thing is awesome, and I, I'm not sure how much how much this thing costs. Probably 15 bucks at the most with shipping. Um, you can have an option like this, or another one that's probably two dollars. But those little handheld fans. And you, know, you start the fog. You turn this thing on, flash yourself with it, maybe sit back, relax if you want. You might get shot. Especially on the hotter games, you know, it's nice to have that fan to cool off in general. Yeah, I mean, right down the PC or you know, right up on your glasses, but. This thing defog starts defogging almost immediately. You can start to see your vision come back, which is great. And it's small enough to either throw in, you know, your dump pouch or in a side pocket. I put my here if I want to. Um, the little handheld fans are they're awesome. Um, to go with the fans, we we also, you know, a couple guys on the team have these these goggles with the fans made into them. They hook up to a little battery unit. I th I think that's how that works. Yep. Uh, actually, I run the battery unit on the side of my helmet, but uh, the little turbo fan goggles. Some of them, they'll have the attachment you can add to them. Some of the goggles have them built in from the start. These ones particularly have them built in. And there's a little tiny fan in here. So you turn it on once you start the fog, and it starts sucking that hot air we spoke about earlier out. So you don't get that fogging. It helps to prevent it a little bit and slowly break down once you've started to fog. We've actually got a guy on the team who took uh, those little computer fans. They run a little higher um, RPMs. RPM, and he hooked it up and modded his set didn't break the seal it was just all pre pre sealed so he's able to defog his goggles now all the solutions we've talked about up until this point are uh, fairly run of the mill they're kind of hit or miss once you start fogging eventually you will fog with all these even with the fan systems eventually you will fog mm -hmm. you break a real sweat uh, the wipes the soaps eventually everything breaks down we have found the one end all be all cure for fogging issues and that's from a little company called Wide Eye. Uh, they specialize in scuba gear. And what their product is, is a little magnetic wipe that sticks to your goggles. I've had this thing shot, doesn't bounce off. Nice and easy to move around. 
uh, it's a fantastic product. And once you start fogging, you do a little wipe, you just take that fogging out. If you wait until your goggles are completely fogged, without removing the seal, you just pull this little magnet and it wipes the goggles off. It is the one surefire cure to fogging where it doesn't require you to break the seal to clean your goggles. Did you go over price for how much those things go? Uh, these things go for uh, about $11 uh, for this model. This is the one they make specifically for paintball. Um, it's just the different products they have are sized differently. And actually, I just learned this today, but um, Polter guys found that they make smaller versions of, of these things that can actually fit if you rock more the glasses type rather than the goggle type that can fit, you know, I tried this on, you know, maybe I'll do it if you guys are watching. You know, with my, my full seal kit inside my eye pro, it still sits there. It's a, it's a little bit in the peripheral vision, but if you're running on a team with a bunch of guys, hopefully you have your corners covered. And I can sit there and I can move this thing across and, and kind of clear up any kind of fog that may have been there. Uh, with it being smaller, it will be able to run across the middle of your your eye pro. Depending on the model of uh, eye pro you have. Yeah, I mean, I'm running the Oakley, so it's a little bit tighter here, but it should fit. And that's actually pretty neat, and you know, I plan on getting myself a, a set running them. Those are all mechanical and, and things you can do physically to your goggle. One last thing that we find that actually helps quite a bit is, you know, don't be stagnant in a, in a position. Sometimes we got to move around or we should move around. I notice when I start to fog, you know, just, you know, taking a few steps, whether I'm indoor or out, outdoor helps out a lot because you got wind to help a lot. But indoor or outdoor, just moving will help clear up some of that fog because you don't have that body heat. And you get that airflow in through the bottom, out through the top, the goggles actually helping to clear it out quite a bit. And you know, maybe you have to stay still, that's when that magnet thing, which is great, comes into play. But maybe you can just do a quick pace, you know, check your corners, get right back to your position, and just that little bit of movement will help clear the, those uh, goggles or, or eye pro up. Once again, this is Poltergeist. And Hightower from Dyro Fairsoft. And this is our video covering all of your anti-fog options. Watch our videos, like them, share them, you know, leave a comment if you guys have any other options that are out there. We're always looking for stuff to to review or make some comments on. Also, uh, links below for all of the gear we covered here today. Thank you.